Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel on data analysis and research. Today we want to look at a statistical test known as the intraclass correlation coefficient. It is not unusual in research to have duplicate measurements when the measurement of a variable is repeated or when you have two uh, observers or scientists perform the same analysis and then undertaking the same measurement. It is recommended that in order to use this measurement for your research, you find out how reliable the two measurements are. So that is what uh, we employ this test to do. We want to find out to what extent these two measurements agree with each other before you can take their average as your measurement for your analysis. So there are several ways of determining agreement between two measurements. One of them is the intraclass correlation coefficient. So we want to see how measure one and measure two agree, to what extent they agree. So in SPSS, you go to analyze, you go to scale, then you select reliability analysis. So here, so reset. So here you move your two measurements to the item box. Then we'll go to statistics. So we are interested in intraclass coloration coefficient. So you select it. We, we have the different models. We have the two-way mix, two-way random. So since observers are chosen and not at random, they are known. Normally, the two-way mix is preferred. Then we come to the type. We are not just interested in consistencies, but we want to see the absolute agreement. So we select the absolute agreement. We click OK. Then OK here. So this is our measurement. So you can see the values for the interclass correlation coefficient here. So we have the single measures, we have the average measures. So the average. The single measures will be compared to each other and then to the average of the two measurements. So that gives you the interclass co uh, the ICC here. So this value is preferred to using the single measures. So you can also see the confidence interval. So we have the lower bound, and then we have the upper bound here. So from literature, a value, any value above 0 0.7 is regarded as a strong agreement between the two measurements. So if it's above 80, it's better, 0 0.8 is better, and if it's above 0 0.9, then it's even far, far better. So if you have an, a value of uh, one, then that is the perfect agreement between the two measurements. So this is normally done, especially in anthropometry, where different body size are measured body parts are measured, or even in a clinical laboratory where you perform tests in duplicate. You want to see to what extent the two measurements agree. And that normally demonstrates how reliable the measurements are. So in simple terms, this is how intraclass coloration coefficient is determined using SPSS. Please kindly subscribe to my channel and then also share this channel to your colleagues who are interested in data analysis and research. So see you next time.